It smells like a, a woman that has a Range Rover and lives in a mansion, like by herself and has like 30 cats. Hi guys, it's Xenia. Welcome back to my channel. So at this point, somebody just needs to take my credit card away from me because I cannot stop. Today, I have yet another perfume haul for you guys. I have bought these perfumes over like the past six months and they have been sitting under my bed for the longest time because I didn't want to put them out yet so that I could film these videos. But then I've always just had other videos filmed and so I've never just gotten around to all of them and I literally have so many perfumes under my bed just waiting to be filmed so i'm slowly getting around to them so if you see like a really big influx of hauls don't think that i'm having a mental breakdown even though i probably am i just have a lot of perfumes to go through that i've just bought within the last like six months that i just haven't shown you guys yet so anyways i have five new fragrances in this video to show you guys these are all higher end fragrances i know i've been doing a lot of affordable perfume hauls so i decided to kind of switch it up today and these are all higher end design Designer, not really like niche i mean these are like average priced perfumes i would say they're not affordable and they're not 300 dollars perfumes by the way in all my videos i always get comments asking like what lip i'm wearing so i figured i would just start telling you guys a lip because sometimes i even wonder like i'll go back to an older video and i'm like wow like what lipstick was i wearing in this video because that looks really nice and i don't even remember so today i'm wearing one of my favorite this is one of my favorite formulas these are the nyx shine loud lipsticks so it's basically like an, a liquid lipstick and then you put the gloss on top and it makes it like transfer proof it's a gloss that literally doesn't transfer like who does that and this particular one is in the shade boundary pusher this is like the perfect fall color it's like such a beautiful sort of chocolatey color but with red but it somehow is very wearable at the same time it's not super like vampy and dark it's amazing go and check this one out check out this whole line they have a bunch of different colors if this one is not your cup of tea so yeah also before we get into this video i feel like i always make these intros like three million years long and i always get somebody in the comments like skip to this timestamp if you want the video to start and i'm just like so basically i've been thinking about sprinkling in some makeup videos here and there i also i think i would be interested in doing like vlogs or like follow me around maybe shop with me i don't think i'm like so comfortable to the point where i can like vlog in public but i can definitely make like sort of like a follow me around my day what's it called day in my life type of videos things like that like more kind of lifestyle videos i'm not saying that this channel is going to change or i'm going to stop doing fragrance because that'll always be the base but i feel like just to kind of switch it up i feel like i was kind of getting in a rut for a second there because i was just doing like perfume video after perfume video after perfume video and it's like i love perfumes but sometimes it can get too much for anybody to just keep doing the same thing over and over again so i feel like i want to sprinkle in some makeup videos here and there i know i've gotten a couple comments from you asking me to do like makeup tutorials so i just wanted to ask you guys if you would be interested in that or if you have like some of your own suggestions and requests for me to do perfume videos will still be coming just like they still are but just you know here and there will be a little sprinkle of a different kind of video so let me know if you guys like that idea let me know any of your ideas any video suggestions that you have for me and i'm really interested to see the comments under this video so please please comment and help me out but with all that being said let's get straight into these perfumes First perfume i'm gonna show you guys i'm really excited for this and i actually got this because of like a really stupid probably reason really weird reason this is dolce and gabbana pore femme intense now, i have tried the original pore femme i don't own it but i've smelled it many times i'm very familiar with the scent and for me it's like an okay scent it was kind of a little bit too generic although i love my sweet scents and that's kind of like what that one stands for and the reason why i was always interested in all these fragrances is because they have a really kind of prominent note of marshmallow in them and that is like one of my favorite notes ever that's why i always loved this line but when i smelled the original i was like mm, it just seemed a little bit generic for me so I had been hearing a lot about the intense version, but really what drew me, like, the actual number one factor of why I bought this, this was, like, right after I finished watching Outer Banks, right after I had finished season two of Outer Banks. I was looking at some cast interviews. If I can find the interview, because I don't remember what it was, because I haven't watched it in a long time, but if I can find that specific one that I watched, I'll put it right here. I think it was, like, a what's in my bag style video, and it was, like, all of them in it. 
and Madison Bailey was showing what was in her bag and I think the cast was like reacting to it something like that and she pulls out this perfume and I'm like oh that's the perfume that she wears that's a really good perfume and I had actually never smelled this one as much as I had always smelled the original I had never smelled the intense version so I went and smelled it after that video because I was like I have actually heard a lot about that and so many people say it's so sexy and so sweet and delicious a lot more like sophisticated mature and just a lot of people say it's almost better than the original and they were reacting really well to it like they all really liked the scent they thought it was really good so i was like okay i'm gonna try it i did get the full bottle because i really love this scent and the reason why i really love this scent is because it reminds me of one of my all-time favorite perfumes that i have and i actually only have a little one ounce of that perfume Okay, my dog is over there sneezing, so if you hear weird little sounds, she's sneezing. The perfume that it reminds me of is YSL Manifesto, which if you watch any of my videos, you would know this is one of my all-time favorite scents. I just included this in my fall video, my top 10 perfumes for fall. Go check that one out. I'll link it right here. This is such a delicious scent, and I only have the one ounce version, so when I smelled this and it reminded me of this, I was like, yes, I'm gonna get like the full bottle of it because i'm obsessed with this type of scent there is something about this scent and this scent i feel like they are so similar they could literally be dupes i will say though this one is a lot stronger and the longevity on this one is a lot better but that's not to say that this one is bad because i still find this one really long lasting it's just this one will literally last for like three days straight so this has top notes of neroli and green mandarin it has middle notes of orange blossom and tuberose and base notes of marshmallow and sandalwood this one to me smells sweet and spicy just like ysl manifesto smells sweet and spicy this one doesn't have vanilla in it whereas the manifesto does but i think all of that sweetness and creamy goodness is coming from the marshmallow note for me, I feel like marshmallow is kind of a note that I would expect in like a celebrity fragrance or it's just a note that is, I feel like, more of a juvenile scent. It's not really a note that you would think like, oh, like a mature woman would wear a scent that has marshmallow in it. But this one is marshmallow. It's like the most mature marshmallow. It is such a sexy scent and it's so intoxicating. The only difference I would say that it has to Manifesto is that this one is probably like a little bit softer not as intense which i feel like is making this even more intoxicating because i feel like this one sits a lot more close to the skin and doesn't project as much as manifesto like manifesto can especially if you overdo it can be kind of like too much but this one kind of sits close to the skin it still has really good sillage so like wherever you're gonna walk you're gonna leave this intoxicating love trail behind you but at the same time you're not gonna make people pass out <laughs> next to you because of how strong your fragrance is the opening for me for this one kind of starts off like very bright and floral almost kind of citrusy but the marshmallow and the sandalwood quickly transform this into the most delicious most sexy most sensual mysterious delicious sweet scent ever the tuberose and the neroli are also giving it like that intoxicating sort of quality this is definitely a date night scent for sure it's more of like an intimate sort of scent if sweet scents are your favorite and you like a little bit of spice in there and something very very sexy you are going to love this especially if you love ysl manifesto they are like very very similar if you don't like manifesto you may not like this because they're so so similar that like it's either you know you like it or you don't that is don't shake on a poor femme intense all right the next scent i'm really excited about because i feel like this is such an underrated scent i hear nobody close to nobody talk about this scent and i feel like more people should because it's such a unique scent especially coming from this house this perfume is lancome hypnos this is what hypnos looks like it's a really pretty bottle very simple but i don't know i, I actually kind of like the bottle this is so unique, especially for a Lancome scent. If you love the House of Lancome, like you love all their perfumes, I'm sorry. Like I'm not trying to offend anybody by saying this, but in my opinion, I feel like Lancome makes very crowd pleaser type scents. Very, I don't want to say generic, but like generic. They make nice scents, don't get me wrong. There isn't much uniqueness there, but this one 
is different. And I believe this is getting discontinued because I literally could only find this in one Ulta. I was in Miami when I found this. I have a bunch of Ultas near me, like where I live, but none of them had this in stock. There was nothing even like close to me. I was just in Miami and I saw that one of the Ultas had it there. And even there, it was like one Ulta had it. So I believe because this is so rare to find and I feel like these stores are kind of just eliminating it little by little i believe it's getting discontinued correct me if i'm wrong but i don't know i just feel like it's so hard to find that it makes me feel like it is the top notes in this perfume are passion flower it has middle notes of jasmine and gardenia and base notes of vanilla and vetiver this has some of my favorite notes in it you have that jasmine which i love the vanilla vetiver is kind of hit or miss but it's definitely a hit in this one i honestly wouldn't say that there is a single perfume that i have ever smelled and i've smelled so many perfumes I can't even count that has come close to what this one smells like because it is so original. This is like a clean, woody, little bit powdery. It has a really pretty sort of vanilla vetiver dry down. Mostly vanilla sweet. It's like a really soft vanilla though. It's not an obnoxious sort of scent. And it has really good sillage as well, but it's also very close to the skin and just feels very, very intoxicating and sexy. And before I bought this, I was kind of reading the reviews on Ulta and there was some people that said like, this is an extraordinary scent and it was like, they loved it. But then there were some people that were like, oh, it's a very like old lady type of scent. It was kind of like split in half. I feel like it was mainly people that really liked it, but there was also like those comments of people that just didn't. But I really like this even the first time i ever smelled it like the literal first spritz i said what i'm about to say and i still think the same i think this smells so similar to ouzo it ouzo is like i think it's a greek drink it smells like this perfume i don't know what it is maybe the vetiver i don't even pick up jasmine out of this even though i love jasmine and i feel like i can always pick up jasmine i feel like i can't this is a very woody type of scent it's almost kind of unisex it's also very sweet though it's very dense as well it's not like a airy fragrance you can definitely smell that vanilla in this but it is so unique with that mixture of that vetiver in it it's giving it like a spiciness almost like an alcoholic sort of feel and maybe that's why it's reminding me of ouzo this is probably one of the best perfumes that this house has created in my opinion of the ones that i have smelled and i've smelled like a lot of their perfumes that they've come out with and none of them have ever made me react like this one has i feel like the name hypnose is very fitting to this because it is a very hypnotizing sort of scent it's something that you just can't put your finger on it like i feel like it smells like it's a familiar scent but it's one of those familiar scents where you like you don't know where you have smelled this before i don't even want to say clean because i feel like that makes it feel like this is like a clean fresh laundry scent and it's not it does have a clean quality to it though the vanilla the vetiver jasmine it's a really, really sexy, very memorable combination. This is a scent that like if somebody walks past you and they had this on, you will forever like have that scent ingrained in your mind. This is a very signature worthy sort of scent, but this is sexy. Not a sexy type of like, oh, you're wearing a super revealing dress. You could be fully covered up. It's just like your aura that is exuding that sort of sexiness. And I feel like that is just the best kind of sexiness. So anyways, I don't even know what I'm even saying at this point. This is so hard to explain. Please give this one a smell order a sample of it or something let me know if you have ever tried this though let me know in the comments i wouldn't say it's the safest blind vibe it is so unique and so i don't know if it would be everybody's cup of tea but i definitely think everyone should at least smell this once just so that you could form your own opinion on it and if you do please come back to this video leave me a comment and tell me like if you like this tell me if you own this scent if you love it tell me like how other people react to you whenever you have worn the scent if you get confident complimented it a lot because I feel like this will be such a highly complimented scent. I said in my previous video that I will be filming my fiance rating perfumes video like part two. We just did our part one like not too long ago and we're gonna do the second part of him 
reacting to more perfumes and I'm so excited to include this perfume in it and see what his reaction is of this because the first time that he smelled it, he really, really, really loved this scent. That is Hypnos by Lanco. Okay, the next scent is one that I was always wanting to get and I finally just bit the bullet and I bought it. This perfume is Pure XS by Paco Rabanne. This perfume is unique <laughs> that's for sure solely based off of this bottle this is a 10 out of 10 like just packaging wise like packaging presentation of this solid 10 out of 10 i think it's stunning i'm in love with this sort of snake uh accent to it the bottle it looks sexy you know like it just looks like it would be a sexy scent and it is but there's also an element to it that i don't like but that element that I, I don't like is like the reason why this scent is this scent. It's what makes this scent so unique. So I'm gonna read off the notes and then we're gonna talk about it. So this doesn't really have top notes, middle notes, or base notes. That's not how they're listed on the Fragrantical website. It just shows all the notes. So there is popcorn in here. There's vanilla, coconut, ylang ylang, peach, orange blossom, and bread, white musk, amberwood, and sandalwood. This one to me smells like if you took black opium from YSL and you added a popcorn note to it straight off the bottle this to me smells very similar to like a black opium-esque type smell it's very sweet and it has that sexy sweet quality that YSL black opium also has and it's really good like freshly out the bottle I'm in love with this scent I just wish that it stayed that way but when you spray it and specifically when you spray it on your skin because i feel like in the air you can't really tell i'm gonna spray it on my skin in the opening it still opens up like super bright and sweet and sexy same again same smell that of my uh black opium i would say they are very similar but where this starts to get different is once it starts drying down you can smell it even before it's like fully dried just as soon as you spray it on your wrist takes like five seconds and then the popcorn note starts developing and once it's completely dry it's almost like the main thing that you smell if you were to spray this on a tester strip i have a feeling a lot of people would not like it you need to spray this on your skin and see how that popcorn note and the other notes are going to react to your skin because on a tester strip this the popcorn note in it is so heavy and it's so almost nauseating that I can assure you that most people just smelling it off a Testa strip will probably not like it. When I did the fiance rating my perfumes video that we did, I made him smell this perfume and obviously he was smelling the perfumes off of a Testa strip and when he smelled this, he, he gave this the lowest rating out of all the perfumes that he smelled in that video. He absolutely hated it because of that popcorn note and that was because on the Testa strip, the popcorn note was just so, so heavy but... On the skin, the popcorn note is not as heavy. Like, the popcorn note is not as, like, prominent and nauseating and loud and obnoxious as it is when you spray this on a piece of paper. Some people have also compared this to Olympia from Paco Rabanne. I would personally 1000% disagree. I do not smell any ounce of Olympia in this. This is way 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 sweeter. Almost has like a coffee note but it doesn't have a coffee note. If you have ever smelled black opium this smells very similar to it. It's a little bit more brighter than black opium i would say but it has a very similar scent to that one i don't really see the resemblance of olympia in this maybe slightly i can pick it up but that wouldn't be like my first choice this is very sweet it's kind of musky there's musk in it and it also has like a bright sort of fruity quality to it as well um on top of the popcorn note obviously i feel like that popcorn note is just making this such a one-of-a-kind type of scent that you just have not smelled before because I feel like popcorn notes are not so popular in perfumes. It's kind of like a more rarer note. It's almost like sweet and salty, which I guess is why people have said that this kind of resembles uh, Olympia because that's a very like sweet and salty scent um, as well, which I love Olympia, but I don't think that they're similar. I feel like this one is way, way, way sweeter, way more like 
nighttime date night sort of sexy um whereas that one is like a different type of sexy i feel like this is a more polarizing scent just because of that popcorn but if you are into really sweet sugary black opium-esque type scents caramel but sweet and sugary mostly you're going to really really like this just definitely be wary of that popcorn note because i can definitely smell it on my skin even when it fully dries down i feel like in the opening it's not really there but when it dries down it kind of just consistently stays there so be wary of that maybe order a sample to try to test that out but i feel like a lot of people love this scent like absolutely adore it and this is a gourmand scent so if you're into that you're going to really love this let me know if you have this scent how you like it let everybody know in the comments but yes that is pure excess by paco Rabanne. all right the next scent is a scent that a lot of you guys had actually recommended me to try out and i feel like this is like one of the youtube made me buy it kind of fragrances not just from you guys but also so many fragrance youtubers in the fragrance community have talked about this scent so many people are like die hard lovers of this fragrance so many people's like signature scent a lot of people are just in love with it and now i am one of those people this is girl of now by ellie saab i cannot tell you how many comments i have gotten telling me to try this one out so i finally just decided to try it out you guys know me i'm a sweet lover these scents are like right up my alley maybe they're not the most original unique scents out there like ever but i love these scents and they're like my go-to scents on like a daily basis and you guys knew that so that's why you recommended me this and i love it it's so good this is what this perfume looks like this is the original ellie saab uh eau de parfum i know that she has a few flankers as well but i definitely just wanted to get my hands on the original this is going to be such a perfect scent going into the fall and winter time because it's so sweet and delicious such a gourmand edible sweet sugary scent this one is for all of you sweet gourmand nutty lovers out there this has so much almond in it if you love almond notes in particular this is going to be it for you because i would say that that is like the standout note of this perfume this has top notes of pistachio pear and mandarin orange it has middle notes of almond orange blossom and magnolia and base notes of almond milk tonka bean cashmere and patchouli there is a lot of nuttiness almondy pistachio goodness in this perfume that is like the main part that i can personally smell but it's so creamy i definitely understand the hype about this now and why so many people like absolutely rave about it it's so addictive and such a sweet intoxicating scent definitely has that sexy quality to it and will definitely be a compliment getter if you watch so many like most complimented perfume type videos this is always like in almost all of those types of videos because i feel like this is just such a major crowd pleaser okay we've had a lot of sweet scents kind of re resemble this one but there's still a uniqueness to this that i really love and that like sugary almondy pistachio sweet vanilla goodness is just what makes this fragrance if you are a sweet gourmand lover especially if you love almond notes this is like the safest blind buy on earth so if you do not own this scent and you like all of those things that i just mentioned you need this in your perfume collection like you need it and now that i have it i don't think i will ever do without it because it's so delicious like this speaks to every bone in my body some people have compared this to like black opium some people have compared this to like la, la via belle i feel like those are like the two most compared perfumes because i feel like they're like the most generic perfumes that so many other perfumes are compared to it some people have even sm said that this smells like poison girl by dior which is honestly the reason why i held off of buying this one for the longest time because although i like poison girl and i'm starting to like it i used to not be into poison girl at all when i first bought poison girl i liked it which is why i bought it and then i just started absolutely hating the scent and i do not know why and now i feel like i'm kind of coming around to liking it again in my opinion i don't think this one smells similar to poison girl poison girl is way more powdery and i don't know there's just a very polarizing quality to that perfume this one is so likable for somebody that likes sweet scents if you don't like sweet gourmands 
don't get this perfume. That is Girl of Now by Ellie Saab, the original Eau de Parfum. All right, the very last scent I have in this video is one that I completely fell head over heels over and I didn't expect to love it as much as I did. And I keep just falling more and more in love with this perfume every single day and not only that but everyone in my fam family is obsessed with this perfume and i've actually mentioned this perfume in a couple of my videos before it was included in my fiance rating my perfumes video i feel like i'm already spoiling that video so much because i've already told you about so many perfumes in that video but when i had my fiance smell this perfume he loved it so much when my mom first smelled this perfume and she is hard to please when it comes to perfumes because she is one of those people that has like two signature perfumes and she doesn't really switch she doesn't like sweet scents she doesn't like super obnoxious nauseating scents but when she smelled this she was like i literally will never wear another perfume again you need to give me that perfume this is chloe nomad now every time i read that name i think of a cinderella story comment down below if you have watched that movie i feel like most of you probably have if you have not you need to get on that. I do not like any, I don't want to say any because I haven't smelled like every single one of the perfumes that Chloe has come out with, but I have smelled a lot of them and I just, they're not, they're not my scent profile. This has top notes of Mirabelle, bergamot, lemon, and orange. It has middle notes of freesia, peach, jasmine, and rose, and base notes of oak moss, amberwood, patchouli, white musk, and sandalwood. I feel like this house mainly has fragrances that are very sort of geared to the fresh, overly floral fragrance lovers, which I am not. So that's why I've always refrained from buying any of their scents, but I kept hearing so many people talk about this one in particular and people that were specifically saying like, I don't like this house, but I love this perfume. So that's kind of what really got me intrigued in it because I feel the same way. There's something about this that is phenomenal. To me, this smells like it could literally be a niche, like, $500 perfume. I'm not even joking. This smells so expensive. And don't get me wrong, it's not cheap, but it's average price, like, especially for a designer. Um, I think this one fluid ounce was, like, $70. Um, obviously, it gets more expensive the more ounces it is, but it's, like, averagely priced, but to me, it is the most expensive smelling perfume I have ever smelled. It smells like a, a woman that has a Range Rover and lives in a mansion, like, by herself and has, like, 30 cats. Honestly, the only perfume that I have smelled that this kind of reminds me of, and I wouldn't say that they're dupes, but they give me very similar vibes. That perfume is Hermes Eau de Merveille. I think that they actually smell very similar, and I really like that perfume, but that one on me turned very, very musky and very almost masculine smelling, and this one is not that at all. This one smells very clean and fresh, but in the most expensive least boring type of way that you can think of that kind of fragrance smelling this smells like you came out of like the most luxurious spa like a spa that was like probably two million dollars this is kind of woody it's kind of musky floral i feel like there's a hint of sweetness to this somewhere um like a hint i don't get sweetness in this i get mostly like fresh floral clean and woody and like kind of spicy like definitely spicy though and even my fiance who is not really well versed in the perfume world he even said that this was spicy and this perfume belongs in the Sheepra family of perfumes it has that oak moss which is probably what is giving it like that really unique spicy kind of earthy woody sort of scent out of all of the chloe scents i feel like this one is the safest blind buy and honestly i feel like just on its own i do consider this a pretty safe blind buy because although it is super super unique i think this is a major crowd pleaser in the best way possible because you're still gonna stand out of a crowd Ugh, I literally just forgot what I was saying because <laughs> this smells so good. I just feel like every person needs this scent. Like whether you are a sweet lover, whether you love fresh fragrances, whether you love florals, I feel like all of those people combined will love this fragrance. It has a little tiny bit of each of those, mostly in the fresh floral side, but not too much of that either because I don't really like that kind of category of perfumes 
and I really love this perfume. This one is likable, but super, super original at the same time. I definitely recommend this one. This is a very, very, very sexy scent. This is like effortlessly sexy, like you're wearing a baggy shirt or something like that, jeans but you look so put together at the same time. A lot of people love this scent. I've included this in a couple videos because I've talked about it in some other videos here and there. Um, and so many people have given such positive comments about this perfume. I don't think that I've had a single person comment something bad about this scent. Like I have yet to meet somebody that doesn't like this scent. So definitely give Chloe Nomad a try. So that is all of the fragrances that I'm going to include in this video. I hope you guys like this. Definitely let me know which of these you have in your collection, how you like them, how other people react to these. But that is it for me today. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe to my channel and turn your post notifications on and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!